Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and as you guys read by the title of today's video, we are going to talk about Peron. Billie Eilish recently went on Howard Stern this December and talked about how Peron destroyed her brain and how it made her feel watching it at a very young age. Instead of playing the clips from the Howard Stern show, cause I might get it demonetized as well, I'm going to read an article from TMZ. There has been other publications that wrote about it as well, but this is the one that you know, talks about it in depth. So I'm gonna bring it up on the screen for you guys to read with me. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. And then recently a prawn star actually made a response to Billie Eilish. So we're gonna talk about that as well. But before we jump in, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let's get into it. Okay, so the title of this says, Billie Eilish, I started watching Prawn at 11 and it hurt my sex life. Billie Eilish says that she consumed so much Prawn as a kid, it gave her nightmares and the mental effects of the addiction have hurt her in her adult love life. The 19 year old singer spilled the beans Monday on Sirius XM's The Howard Stern Show, sharing her experience with violent Prawn and its impact on her life. I think it really destroyed my brain and I feel incredibly devastated that I was exposed to so much prawn. Billy clearly hates it now. I think prawn is a disgrace. I used to watch a lot of prawn to be honest. I started watching prawn when I was 11. She says that watching the abusive prawn not only caused her to have trouble in the bedroom once she began having sex, but she also believes watching it caused her to have sleep paralysis and nightmares. She now says she is angry that Prawn is loved and mad at herself for thinking it was okay. The first few times I, you know, had sex, I was not saying no to things that weren't good. It was because I thought it was what I was supposed to be attracted to. As for her love life, she said it has been hard being a celeb and finding love saying that people are either terrified of you or think you're out of their league. Okay, so basically she started watching Prawn at a very early age and there's so many articles these days and there's so many groups that are saying that it's okay for children to consume this type of imagery. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. I'm gonna paint a picture for you. If two people, two adults, consenting adults, were having intercourse, right, in a room, and there was a child in the room, that would be considered what? Okay, I don't have to say it, you guys put two and two together, but that would be considered a crime. So why is it okay for young people to be consuming this type of content that is clearly unrestricted. It's very easy to get access to these things. I know because I was one of these kids that got access to it at a very young age. I've talked about it on my channel before and I also became addicted to prawn. There has been a lot of therapy that I had to go through in order to understand that that is not normal. And it's really harmful for relationships. It distorts the brain into thinking that that violence or that type of body or that type of relationship should be consensual in the bedroom. And people take these things that they see on the internet and they translate it into their personal lives and it has very, very negative effects. I'm gonna pull a study and I'm also gonna link it down in the description for you guys to also get access to, but it says one in 10 kids under the age of 10 have seen prawn. Most statistics on prawn use say that the average age of a child's first exposure to prawn is 11 years old. This is what Billie Eilish was talking about as well. New research from security technology company Bite Defender has reported children under the age of 10 now account for 20 2% of online prawn consumption under 18 years old. Particularly alarming is the site most visited by children under 10 include mega sites like Prawn Hub. The under 10 age group is now accounting for one in 10 visitors to 
the video site per Bite Defender. Prawn addiction is is a worry for 10% of seventh graders. If most of you started watching this at the early ages of 10, 11, 9, I know people that have watched it even before that. This is doing a lot of damage. This has done a lot of damage to your brain. This has done a lot of damage to you personally. You can get therapy and counseling around it, but a lot of these things stick with you and it's a real addiction that a lot of people are going through both men and women because of the exposure of it from such an early early age you can get whatever you want at any point in time you can get whatever flavor you'd like and it's available to you at your fingertips this has never been the case even just a couple decades ago. It's one thing to look at an image in a magazine, but when that image <laughs> translates into video and you watch endless amounts of videos and you start getting those dopamine hits, right? Those things will eventually lead to very, very degenerate places that you go down. And trust me, I've been there and it requires you to have discipline in order to bring yourself out of it. It boggles my mind that this can even exist and that, that this industry is profiting off of you know, young adults and even just children that haven't even developed their brains yet. There's really no excuse for this, but a prawn star and former TV actress, Maitland Ward, criticized Billy for this. She said, prawn isn't something that's supposed to be sex education for people. It's entertainment for adults, and that's what we do, Ward continue. Also, I think she's too young to make that kind of assessment about prawn, sex, and everything. Really, is she too young to make that assessment about prawn? You're saying it's for adults when 20, how, what is it? When 22% of the consumption is under 18 years old. Yes, it's not the majority, but it is an alarming number of people, of children that are consuming this at a very early age. So it is very irresponsible for someone to say, oh, it's not sex education. So many people started watching it and was intrigued by it, especially when you're young. They look to that because they think that that is what adults, consenting adults do in the bedroom. So that is very irresponsible to say. She continues to say, I don't, I do think it is very detrimental to it, the prawn industry and just that she has a voice like that, so many young people, Ward added. But it's sad that she will put a stigma on prawn, on the prawn industry just because she had a, had a personal experience that was very abusive and detrimental. And it's her thing and it's not the prawn industry's problem. She's saying that it's her fault that she picked it up as an 11 year old kid, that didn't have a fully developed brain yet. I think it's even more important that she is this young, I believe she's 19 years old, and speaking out about it because she can relate to younger people and get them out of this situation or even prevent that from even happening, in my opinion, because of her platform and the size of her platform. So I will say kudos to to Billie Eilish for speaking out about this. I think more people need to speak out about this. I think, you know, more people in general need to speak out about these things because just like me sharing my story and other people sharing their stories, it is powerful to see like, oh, I'm not the only one who's dealt with this. Okay, now I can put the shame behind me and seek out therapy and do the work and actually like take accountability. Yes, I did this to myself, I consume these things, right? But now you can actually seek out therapy, you can actually do personal work on yourself. And for me and my husband, that was something that we had to work on. I'm gonna tag a resource down for you guys to check out. I'm not sponsored by them, but they're called Coveted Eyes. It's a VPN that you can add to your phone or to your computer, I think it links to both but it will basically give you an accountability partner. You set it up with you know, an accountability partner that you want and it really helps 
you know, cut back or even stop your prawn addiction and help my husband. He has been prawn free for over a year now, I believe and he still pays for the service. It's interesting that you have to pay to not watch prawn, but I find it very helpful. He has found it to be extremely helpful. It's a solid tool to help you overcome this prawn addiction. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I really want you guys to get access to this tool if you need it and if you want it. But that is my video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.